me fixing everything and because there is always something to be fixed I want to show you that it's very important to have your uh, cap on your antifreeze being uh, set to the right pressure because if it's not set to the right pressure the water might boil uh, earlier if it's not holding pressure or uh, your coolant system might explode so make sure you have the the right pressure set on your uh, cap what you can do I have a radar jig here that I can show you but you need a compressor hand pump or something that uh, can produce pressure and this uh, coolant tank have three openings one here one over there and one over there as well so what you need is to disconnect one of the pipes let's say that this one is being connected to the car now so uh, connect um, disconnect one of the pipes and have a little piece of pipe block this pipe like a I blocked my one like a, with a bolt or something or you can if you have a spare uh, coolant tank you can make it as well but I doubt that you have a spare coolant tank I just replaced mine and I have this one left so I made it just to uh, test caps then you need a piece of pipe to go to this pipe here I didn't have one because I have a connector on this side so I just drill the opening and pull the tire valve you put the tire valve in you make sure you have the cap seal and then what you need to do is very gently pump your uh, pump your uh, coolant system with air make sure you don't exceed two bars because it a pipe might, bur might burst or even 1.5 bars because these caps are usually set on 1.4 so 1.5 should be your limit so very gently let's let's pump I can hear that this one it starts leaking at around one bar you can see as well I hope as you can see it there we go and it's not holding any pressure so I just tested another cap and it was holding air right around 1.5 bars around 22 psi and this one is not holding any pressure so that's how you can test your system you can also test for leaks when you pressurize to 1.5 bars for example this one it got a little crack here so a bubble started coming when um, uh, when I pump the system that's how you can check your cap and you can check your coolant system as well hope the video is being helpful to you and I'll see you on the next one bye bye